Okay, let's go. Okay, Sarah, so we're just going to start off with, we're going to play a bit of a tie break to 10 and we're going to see how we get on. Okay, I'll start at seven. Yeah. Another one. Good point. And uh, let's see. Just long. Just out. And lift three. Three up. Okay. Are uh, you okay? Just five. <laughs> Thank you. Great return. Cut. Okay. So we're going to stop there and what we're going to do now is I'm going to feed in the first ball which is going to come to your backhand and then we're just going to play the point out. Okay. Thank you. That's it, so start in the middle. Okay, here we go. Five and again. Okay, the roof. Good shot. Oh. 
great shot. Good depth. Yeah. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Nice finish. Okay, last point. Good angle, one more. Okay, so if you will stop there, if you want to come around this side. Okay, so with Sarah, I'm going to be working on um, both back working on those defensive rally balls um, to develop consistency uh, on an incoming ball that's got height and depth um, on the backhand. Okay, so did you notice before that on some of those balls that are coming a little bit higher and deeper on your backhand, you're getting a little bit stuck and caught out of them? Yeah, definitely. How do you feel about that? How did you find it? Um, I feel like... When it comes to my forehand, yeah. I kind of put myself in the right position and I feel like I've got time. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my backhand, I haven't got time to run around it. Okay. And then I will hope for the best. And sometimes, like that one that I just did there on that angle, yeah. I actually thought it was going to come down here. Okay. And then other times it just goes long, other times it goes in the net. It seems very sporadic. Okay. So so what we're going to do is we're going to try and develop a little bit of consistency on that shot. Okay. So hopefully it'll improve it and then in your game that'll be one of the areas that you feel a little bit stronger with. Cool. So I'll grab a couple of tennis balls and show you. Okay, so what we're looking to do with that shot is firstly get our feet behind the ball. So when the ball's coming over and bouncing and when we can see it's going to come with that a little bit more depth. We're reading it nice and early and we can start preparing and moving back for the ball. Okay? Yeah. The next thing we're going to try and do is with our racket, the path of the racket, we want to start and finish higher. We want to go from low to high. So sometimes I feel like you're coming through them a little bit. Yeah. And the only place they're probably going to go is in the net. Yeah. So we're trying to finish higher. Okay. Yeah, but we don't want our swing to be too open because I think it's going to go. Yeah, it's going to go really high. So, I demonstrate a couple of times when the ball's coming over and bouncing deep, we're moving our feet. And we're going from low to high. And again, so we're moving back. Low to high. And watch the strings on this one. So we're moving back. Okay? Our strings aren't too open. You're like right the way around. Yeah, I'm coming over it. Okay? One yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, so you're still looking to come low to high. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if you go around the other side and we'll have a go at that. If you want to roll any balls out the way that might be there as well. Okay, so we'll start in the middle again. Okay, here we go. Is it a good pass on that one? Okay. Good try. That's it. So a good racket pass on that one. So we want to see if we can contact that ball out in front of us. Much better contact. And again. Okay, so we're going to make them a little bit more difficult. Good footwork on that one. You work really well to get your feet around that.
one. Okay, a little bit rushed. Do you feel like you've got your feet behind it? You feel like you started to? Yeah. That's it, so yeah, so you started to get your feet behind it. Okay, so I really like the way on that one, although it's on your forehand, you did set yourself up really well for that with your feet behind the ball. So you did well to get your feet behind it. You managed to mirror what you were doing on your forehand there. Good. So a good pass on that one. See if we can get that pass on the backhand. Okay. That you did well to get you got your feet behind that really well. You set yourself up, and then we just yeah. So that's it. If we get the path right on that one, we'll be there. How did that one feel? Little bit rose. Okay, so you did well to get your feet behind it. And the path was good, you managed to make that a little bit longer. A little bit. The thing that I liked about it was because you lengthened that path, you were able to get the ball to bounce a little bit deeper. So if we're in a game, why do you think it's better to have the ball to bounce a little bit further back? Yeah, exactly. It means that I can't take that ball and attack it. Good. Okay, we'll do a few more. So do you feel balanced when you're playing those shots? Okay, so take a little, see if you can take a little bit more of a step back and see if you can get yourself a bit more balanced. Yeah, try a little bit like that. See there on that forehand, you look a lot more balanced. Just watch the angle of those strings. Again. Your strings are a little bit too close on some of those. You just want to roll that ball out of the way, please. Thank you. How did that feel? Okay, a bit more time. Okay. Sorry. Good depth on that one. Okay. Okay, I want you to try and lift the ball a little bit higher. Okay, see if you can push it a little bit deeper. Well done. Good, better depth as well. Yeah? Yes. Okay, feet move around it really well. Manage to lengthen that path as well. Do you feel balanced? I felt like you were balanced as well. And you took your time with it as well because you don't need to rush. So lift it up a little bit more. So okay. You did well to get your feet around it. Good timing on that one. 
you're taking your time a little bit more and that's when you're giving yourself more space to hit it. Well done. Difficult shot, but good try. Got your feet there. It's all right, we'll try again. Well done. Really lengthen that path and you managed to finish that swing nice and high. That was really good. Okay, so we're gonna progress it a little bit more. So we're still gonna keep that first shot the same, but we're gonna add in the next one. So if we can get that ball to come back nice and deep, then I'm gonna feed in the second one, which might be a little bit shorter, and we can see what you're gonna do with it, okay? So if we just demonstrate that, so if I pass you these two, and move this out of the way, Okay, so if you can feed the first one a little bit deeper to my backhand, and if I can get behind it, nice long swing, then you can feed in the shorter one. That's it, and then we're just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so if you do that one more time. Oh, winning shot. Okay, we'll do it one more time if you've got one more ball. Okay. There we go. Okay, you ready? Good work, you managed to get your feet around that first one really well. And again. You did really well on the first one. That was excellent. You got your feet around it really well. And I feel like you're taking your time with it a little bit more. Yeah, it's definitely better than first. I think I'm thinking Yes, yeah. Going further back, taking longer. Yeah. Um, and then go up. Yeah, not across. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's okay. So, what we're going to do for the next five, so we're just looking at the first shot, is we're going to see how many you can get your feet behind and make that swing go from low to high. Okay, so out of five, so if you pass. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so set your little goal, see how we get on. Okay, ready? Feet behind it. Yeah. Out. Good swing. Out. Okay, one out of one, well done. Feet behind it. Yeah, you'll give yourself that one. Well done. Two out of two. What do we think of that one? B, yeah. Yeah, not quite. It's okay. Two out of three. Feet behind it. Nice swing. Well done. Three out of four. What do you think of the last one? A little bit lazy. Okay. Okay, I want you to show me what you wanted it to look like. Okay, is that how you wanted it to look? Okay, we'll try again. That's how you wanted it to look. That one. 
Okay, so we'll add that second shot back in again. Ready? What did we think of the first one? How are we wanting it? Get around there. Ready? It's okay, we'll try again. How are we feeling it's going? Okay, take your time a little bit more. We'll go again. Okay, I felt like you spent a long time thinking, do I feel you take this as a forehand? And then when you thought, no, I should do it as a backhand, a little bit too late. Was I close? Yeah, you did the line. Okay. Let's try again. I did. Okay, here we go. Okay, really nice feet on that one. Good contact point as well. And I like the speed that you're swinging that racket. You'll just get finding that balance. It's really good. Well done. Too good. So as well as getting your feet behind that, you turned your body as well to be able to angle it for that shot. Nice work. Happy? Yeah. Well done. Okay, we'll do a couple more and then we'll okay. go from there. Well done, good racket pass on that and good footwork too. Okay, last one. Nice work. How do you feel like they're going now? More consistent for sure. Okay, so we're going to keep it the same as it is, but once you've hit that ball back, we're going to play the point out. Here we go. So first ball, shorter one. Oh, that was nasty. The first ball was great. See if we can keep it away. And we're attacking it. Thank you. Uh, it's okay. Okay, pay the point out. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> you got excited. Right. Yeah, so and also making sure that that's not too close to you. Yeah? Do you want to just roll that ball out of the way? Okay. Good try. The thing I really liked about that is you didn't run around it and try and play a forehand. 
like you might have done earlier. I know you thought about it, but I'm glad that you didn't. Watch those strings aren't too open. Oops, sorry. There's really good footwork on that one though. Here we go. Good try. Short of ball. Play the point out. Good work. That's what we're looking for. Well done. Thanks. All right. Here we go. Oh, that was a close one. That first shot, I think, is the best one I've seen you play. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. It was a really difficult one because that one was really pushing you back. But the best, that's the best I've managed to see you get your feet around that. That was really, really good. Well done. Okay. <laughs> good turn. Well done. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Oh, great play, great play. You did really, again, great footwork getting around those. And you managed, managed to extend that path of that racket really, really well to be able to get that depth to keep me back, to stop me from being able to attack it. Great job. <laughs> okay, last one. Oh, good choice. Okay, so we're going to put it back into a bit more of a game. So we're going to go back into the tie break that we did when we started. But if we get one of those high balls in, like we've been practicing, yeah. and we don't manage to get our feet behind it with that racket path like we've been talking about, and we're not being able to push it nice and deep, the other person gets two points. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So if... Yes, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so I'll start off serving again. So we'll go back to our tie break like we did before. That's it. Yes, out. Uh, your set. Go on. You go. It's all right.
Get a slug. You okay? Yes, out. Pardon? The pressure of a point. Okay, so three of them. While we're playing this point, I want you to think about how can you force me to give you two points? Think about what you can do to put me under the pressure. Yeah? Yes, out. Good. So okay with a good thing to try. You're a little bit too close, so that's okay. What a point. Absolutely fantastic. You played at least two of those shots on that on your backhand then. Both brilliant. Great depth. And you're just setting yourself up so early and you're not panicking as well. So you've got time. Set yourself up and get that nice long racket pass. Well done. Great job. Okay. Uh, where are we? Um, I think I'm pretty sure it's 4 1. Yeah, so back to me. Okay. Do you want to roll that one out of the way just in case? <laughs> Very precise. Okay. Oh no! Uh, 40. Change your mind, oh dear. Here you go. Uh, five two two five. Well done. That backhand as well. You know, great job. Because then, by pushing that ball deep, you managed to keep me back and force me to play that short ball for you. Well done. Uh, three, five. Just out. Nicely put away, well then. Uh, five four. Thank you. Stop. Mm. 
<laughs> Lovely return. Five all. Okay, so we're gonna now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away that condition and we're just gonna carry it on like a normal tie break. Okay. Uh, five, six. You got two? Yeah. Just out. Oh, good choice. Yeah, yeah. Got two? I think so. Just out. Oh, just wide. Uh, seven, six. Yes, out. Eight, six. Yeah. Just watch those feet on that one. Good chart. I like the way that you push me back on that one. I'm pretty sure it's eight all. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's me. Thank you. Oh! Bang on the baseline! Okay, nine all. That was just like, yeah, and uh, nine, ten. Just out. Okay, well played. Do you want to come around this end and we'll finish off there? Okay, so how did you feel like that was? An achy muscle. An achy muscle. 
Okay. That, that was good, really good. Yeah. I definitely felt like that tie break was a completely different game to the first tie break. Yeah, and I think as well, when we were adding in, so when we were adding in that extra shot after we played that first one, you were able to really just keep the momentum going. So what do you need to remember about those, about those backhands? Give me a few points. Feet. Yes. Possibly a little bit further back than I think. Okay. Because originally I wasn't going quite as far as still being a little bit rushed. Yes, yes. So going back a bit further than I think. And then just not rushing and thinking of loads of high. Because I think if I think of it, I do it. Yes, I yes. Think of it, I do that. Yeah. So that just needs to become my consistency. And of course, bracket closed slightly, so that's too much. Yeah. And what do you think? How do you think? In terms of the depth that you're trying to hit the ball, what do you think about that? Aiming for more here as opposed to the easy land we get. Why? Because it puts you in a, I've got to just get it back defensive mode, not an aggressive attacking mode. Okay, that's it. And what about, are we looking for sort of a shorter path that we're looking for before or a bit longer as well? Longer. longer. Okay, good stuff. So we'll grab the ball there and we'll stop there. Okay.